What's up, guys? Brianna and Keller from, from Aloha Map. Map. And today we're going to talk about the planets in our solar system and what makes them unique. This is our diorama of our solar system. It's not the scale, but this is just to show the relations between all of these planets. The center of our solar system is the sun, and the sun's gravitational pull is what holds all our planets together. The sun is a yellow dwarf star that is basically a ball of glowing gas. The sun is so large that over one million Earths could fit inside of the sun. Wow, did you not know did that? You know that? Know that? Yes. <laughs> Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It actually takes 59 Earth days for one day on Mercury. Now many astronomers believe that Mercury was once the core of a much larger planet. This is because Mercury appears to be a huge ball of iron covered with a thin layer of rock. Next up we have Venus. Venus has mountains and thousands of volcanoes. Venus is the brightest planet in our solar system. This is due to the sulfuric acid clouds that shine bright yellow that reflect the sun's light. This is cool, also because you can even see Venus with a naked eye when you look up into the stars. Now I bet you can't guess what planet's coming up next. <laughs> Earth! <laughs> Earth is the only known planet in the solar system to have life on it. Or is it? <laughs> Mars has the biggest volcano in our solar system. It's 16 miles high. 50 miles wide. It's almost twice the size of Mauna Kea from sea floor to summit. Mars is often called the red planet. It gets its red color from its rusty iron composition. So the surface gravity on Mars is actually a lot less than Earth's. So if you weighed 100 pounds here on Earth, you'd only weigh 38 pounds on Mars. Jupiter is a gas giant. This means it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth, but it's expected to have a solid core the size of Earth. Jupiter is twice as massive as all the other planets combined. The red spot on Jupiter is actually a massive storm. It's twice the size of Earth, and it's been raging for hundreds of years. Jupiter also has 75 moons in its gravitational orbit, the most out of any planet in our solar system. Saturn actually isn't the only planet that has rings around them. However, their rings are the most beautiful. The rings you see aren't solid. They're made up of rock, ice, and dust. So, one thing you guys probably didn't know is that Saturday is actually named after Saturn. It originated from the Romans who called it Saturn's Day. Uranus is an ice giant four times the size of Earth, and it was the first planet discovered by telescope. Like Saturn, Uranus also has rings. Neptune is the last planet in our solar system. It's another ice giant, and it's so far away that only one spacecraft has ever visited. And that's the Voyager 2. It's dark, cold, and has supersonic wind blowing on the surface. Neptune takes 165 Earth years to rotate around the sun once. If you guys find these topics interesting, you should go on and check out some of the resources that NASA has. There's some really awesome websites that show you 3D models of the planets that you can move around and interact with. There's some really awesome fun facts and some really cool videos online about these planets. Mahalo for watching. Shoots.